Hello, it's great to be with you, and I don't think anybody is going to complain, especially about the weather. My name is Derek Ray, excited to be bringing you match commentary, and alongside me, my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And on the menu for you is action from the hero Indian Super League. It's Kerala Blasters against Mumbai City. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? The lineup then for the hosts. Well, although we have it down as a 4 5 1, it's actually more likely to be a 4 2 3 1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. And introducing the visitors lineup today. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. And now they get the ball rolling. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw-in. So following the deflection, a corner kick coming up here. <laughs> Let's see about the delivery. Attending to his defensive chores. Oh, that's a fine ball. A goal in the early stages, precisely what they had been planning. Well, here's the replay, and it's a really inviting ball played into the box, begging players to attack it, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. So underway again here, 1-0 the score. Singh. And the emphasis is on creativity. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. He has time to play it over. And unfortunately for him, he had worked his way into an offside position. And I think everybody in the ground could see that was always going to be offside. Using space on the opposite flank now. Retaining possession proving difficult. 
passing. Well, getting the ball forward. Options in the centre. A poor cross, all things considered. Not giving him a moment's peace. Now can they counter clinically? And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. And he takes on the shot. There it is! Two to the good now, and that gives them a buffer. Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. And then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. So back underway with the lead standing at 2 0. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. Good tackle. It'll be a throw. And teammates to play it to. And continues his run. Interception to snuff out the danger. Free kick awarded then by the referee. That's useful play. Real chance. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Over it comes. Still not clear. Just the challenge that was required. Crossing opportunity. Can he convert? Able to get a body in the way. Well, the hosts, as you can see, haven't enjoyed the majority of possession, but they're attacking... Hang on a minute, Stuart. Opportunity unfolding. And good work to deny the chance. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And a struggle to get it away properly. Firing it in. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Inching towards the interval, and it's going with home advantage. Stuart, as always, very keen to get your take. Well, from an attacking point of view, it's been a very good performance. I've really liked the way they've got the ball from back to front, then how the forwards have got away from their markers, and the speed of their attacks as well. It's been a really impressive first half. Well kept out.
Now the short corner here. Defensive roadblock in the way of that cross. Well, it's a good deflection. That'll be a corner. Delivering it. And the problem not completely solved. Nogueira. Great pressure to win the ball back. Keeper had work to do. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, thumped clear. And half-time it is. An acceptable scoreline from the point of view of the home side. They're on top, Stuart. Well, as we highlighted, they look like a side who will score goals every time they go forward. Their front players have been so clever with their movement. This could turn into a rout in the second half. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Will he play it in? The high press was on and the chance is on. And he thwarted the attack with a masterful tackle. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Defenders need to cover. Will he finish? A goal! Another one! It's turning into an absolute demolition job. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. Three goals without reply. Possession lost. Well, they know they need to stop him. Can he finish this? And there is the goal! He's found the net. Joy unconfined. Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect, but then you have to ask what's going on with the defending. He's afforded far too much time, nowhere near enough pressure on him, and they're punished as a result. So back underway at 3-1. Janu. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Oh, is he going to be punished here? A goal! He's dispatched it! Much to the sheer delight of the fans!
Well, here's the replay. And sometimes when you've been pressed high up the field, you have to go that little bit longer and not play out through the thirds. And that's what they tried to do here. They had their pocket picked and suddenly they find the ball in the back of the net. Goals in plentiful supply, 4-1 currently. Great effort to keep that one in play. Sing. A foul, but advantage played. Well, the advantage wasn't helping them, and so now they get the free kick. Good technique displayed. Well read to win possession back. Greg Stewart. Nogueira. Well played in from the flag, but not to any great effect. This might be ideal for the counter. Can they keep it going? And delivered into the box. Oh, a moment of pure class! Had to catch it perfectly, and didn't he just? Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and the strike could not get any better. He hits through the back of the ball with such power. What a goal this is. A glut of goals, 5-1 it is. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Borges. Read it well. Oh, he's gone for goal. Well, after that attempt, gobbled up by the keeper. Nogueira and after that fantastic effort it's gone out for a throw in and the substitution will occur now and he takes on the shot and the ball is loose Danger averted for now. Apostolos Janu. Far from a good pass. Five minutes to go. Oh, big chance. And thumped away. Can he put it in?
Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. And as they restart the game, it's fair to say the gulf in quality between the two sides has been huge. There will be three minutes added on at the end. Greg Stewart. Nogueira. And that pass could be troublesome. Ball is loose. Oh, he couldn't hit the target. What a wonderful chance that was. Well, I can't believe he's missed that. That was a really poor effort. And there goes the final whistle, and the home fans are going to be happy about this outcome. Well, we talked about their ability to score goals at the top of the game, and once again they delivered. For me, they're always looking for the most dangerous pass, which is a great example to teams that keep possession for the sake of it. I think they're a joy to watch at the moment.